Oh, can I use the same computer? <laughs> <laughs> so you know you signed up for. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So, how many of you have heard of Divi bike sharing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know it's not a choice, but Divi bike sharing. So, bike sharing is. Is that you? Did you make that? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a it's a it's a transit system on bicycles. So you have a membership. You have a, like a card, just like you have a CTA card, and that gives you access to go from one station to another. So the same card or key, you know lets you go from one bike station to another bike station. Uh, and you can buy member annual memberships or uh, date of 24-hour memberships. So the city already has 300 dock stations. And they're going to add 175 more next year, and then possibly 175 more the year after that. So they need uh, your suggestions. And so they've uh, my, so I work for streetsblog.org, and uh, my, our parent organization is Open Plans, and they developed the software that powers this. It's on the bottom. It says Powered by Shareabouts. Um, and so they redesigned it to be uh, a little bit faster loading, but also more mobile friendly, so that you can actually use this on a mobile device. Uh, and so the, all the icons that here. Joker? <laughs> all the blue icons represent existing stations, and then all the green bubbles represent uh, suggested stations. So it looks like this was placed in the wrong spot because they want Belmont and Halstead. <laughs> and they put it there. <laughs> I just want to drop my bike off on my way to my yard. <laughs> uh, and so last time they did this was over a year ago, and every like every couple hours I would copy the JSON file and run a, like, a little bit of analysis to see which station was the most popular and to track which stations like beat other stations. Um, and I'm, tr I'm doing it again, but then uh, they changed the way this works. And so there's now one JSON for every 50 suggestions instead of one file for all of them. And so I, to do that, I had to either like copy and paste from every one 20 times, because there's over 800. There's probably over 1,000 suggestions now, and it launched this morning. So I wrote a, a little app to put it together better. <laughs> so when I write uh, articles for my uh, website, um, I can have the right data. So right now it's going to grab every JSON file of 50. And so you can see the counter, that how it's downloading them right now. And it's just adding them to this list. And then it'll eventually stop. And then when it stops, it'll present you a JSON file of 100% of the stations. And then what I did is I took that JSON file and I put it into Google Refine. And Google Refine is kind of like a, a stats tool, and, but also a data cleanup tool. And you can just easily sort the data. And it, it accepts data in like 20 different formats. But then also what I wanted to do is you could do something like, well, you can search for the text, but it hasn't finished loading all of them yet. So this one person, he pretty much put every music venue that he likes to go see shows at. Yes. <laughs> um, and he he wrote them all in the same format. So let's get a Divi station at all of Chicago's music venues. So you can easily just search for venues and you can see every single one that they put up. Um, and then you could also search for CTA, uh, which are very popular suggestion places. Um, and then Metra. And then I also added a, a little tag in there. If you type in popular, it'll search for all the ones that have uh, another supporter. So the first supporter is the person who suggested it. And then there's a button that says you can uh, support someone else's. You click support. Right. Mm -hmm. huh. And then if you click it, it obviously will take you over to the page. So unfortunately, right now, I have not sorted this list. So I think that's the next step. So that it's just a one-click link, and you can uh, instantly see the most popular 
uh, suggestion at that moment. Mm -hmm. um, and then here's the uh, JSON text that I said would appear, and you can take that and do with it what you will. Uh, so takeaways are suggest locations. Yeah. <laughs> OK, just one. <laughs> Wait, question. Are, did you share this with Divi? Not yet. I don't want to go through their legal team. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So, uh, anything in paper you want us to do with this data? Well, or? What? Is your is your scope? It's not one? up yet. That's what we're doing. Is it server side or? Oh. It looks like it's all client side. It is all JavaScript and <coughs> jQuery, so I believe that it's That's all client, client side. side. Okay. Um, <laughs> look at the source of the page. Yeah, yeah. There. Or you can yeah. grab it that way too. Yeah. It, can you can you change this so I can submit the same one three thousand times? Add <laughs> <laughs> a little, yeah. Add a suggest and then like a number of submits. <laughs> <laughs> then you don't really need to talk to the <laughs> Well, I noticed like well, I had every time I was testing it, I had to hit refresh and then it would go out and fetch the files right. one after the other. So I was I probably hit them over a thousand times today. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually not Divi, it's Heroku that's hosted on okay. Cool. Awesome. For sure. uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, I think there's uh, there may be another follow-up <coughs> Divi uh, hack night sometime next year, because uh, there's still a lot of interesting stuff to do with that data, including this. So um, maybe, I don't know, maybe as soon as it starts getting nice again outside, we just want to Divi, maybe we'll do that. Uh, cool. Any other announcements before we get